Hey, it's Ryan Breeze, and we're back with episode 33, which I believe is going to be the finale of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, and we're ready to face Master Grievel here. Here is our final team. We have Armin, our Agron, with Sturdy, with Protect, Earthquake, Iron Tail, and Double Edge. Sasha, our Altaria, with Dragon Breath, Ice Beam, Dragon Dance, and Aerial Ace. Connie, our Guard of Wire with Psychic Shadow Ball Reflect Thunderbolt. Sarda with Water Pulse Ice Beam Quick Attack and Icy Wind. Rias with Brick Break Fake Out Belly Drum and Rock Tomb for Flying Types. And lastly, Kaneko, our Nine Tails with Heat Wave, Infuse Ray, Flamethrower, and Dig. I am not ready for this fight. I don't think I win the first time. And I just noticed there's someone chilling in this room. Working at the HQ makes me an elite. What more proof do you need? However, bleak the situation, I never give up. Oh my gosh, there's a battle. I guess it's some experience. I really didn't think he was going to battle me. I figured he'd be like, oh no, our plan's spoiled. It's all over. Or you'll never meet Master Greville. Intimidate. Alright. We're gonna Earthquake. Yep. And Aerial Ace Shiftry. Ah, you don't have Fake Out. Nice. Anyway, we're facing Master Greville, and... If you don't know, he's an entire team of Shadow type. I don't think we're gonna be able to catch six Shadow Pokemon in one battle. So we're just gonna have to keep knocking them out. I might try and try and capture the last two, but like I, they're all level 50, which is way higher than my team. So what, they got the level, they have the type advantage, they've got the move advantage. <laughs> it's not gonna be pretty. He does have an awesome team. I just know three of them. And they're pretty darn cool. Comes the Aerial Ace. Knocking out the shift tree. I haven't... How many Pokemons this guy got? Let's see here. This might be the last chance for us to use this Earthquake combo effectively. Comes the Earthquake. Hitting the mill tank for pretty much nothing. Pretty darn bulky, eh? Doesn't hurt Sasha. It's Granbull pretty good. Comes a bite. We are extremely physically defensive. That ain't doing nothing. Agron's so cool. <laughs> he just heals it right back off. Like nothing happened. Or Dragon Breath Mill Tank. Comes a Shadow Ball. If it's in Altaria, we're fine. Oh my god. Five damage. <laughs> Ghost is physical. Didn't stand a chance. Ah, that is good damage. I was still earthquake's still not picking it up though. Big paralysis. We are killing the grand bull here though. Yeah, we knew that was happening. Doesn't hurt Sasha. The grand bull. Please don't have more. Armaldo. I need to take a peek at how many does he have. He's still got one more. Earthquake. He is bug and rock, I think. Well, ice beam. Or is he bug water? I guess we'll never know. Comes Earthquake. Actually, we'll find out right here if he's Rock type. It's super effective. Negative. He's Water. I think. Maybe Bug resist Ground. Who knows? 
Osher goes to 47. Here comes a slacking as the last Pokemon. Not Shadow. Perfect. Um, we just keep clicking Earthbreak. Earthquake. Amnesia. Special Defense Rises. Okay. And is that worth two turns? Yo, this guy's bulky. Actually, we did just hit him special. There we go. Ah, uh, didn't do much either. <laughs> They should pick up a kill on my mall though. Time to hit this guy twice. With what? Double edge is physical. It's ice beam physical. Let's try and freeze him. Come on. Ah oh, man, we did only get one freeze the whole playthrough, so. And we're hit with recoil. Actually, Artari is going to come up huge this next battle, I think. Here comes a Hyper Beam. Somebody's going to die. We're eating it! We resist with our Steel Typing, and we're bulky. Nothing. We attacked it with Agron. We get the freeze. Back to back battles. That's insane. He didn't even move. <laughs> I guess he's frozen solid. <laughs> oh. Alright, we're we're kind of out of battles now. We gotta face Master Grievel. Sorry, I give up. But just today. Alright. I guess I gotta go back and heal. Fortunately, it's right here. Literally. Heal very quickly, and we'll head through that elevator to our left. We'll be on our way to the final fight. Gotta beat Master Grievel. Any item in here? Negative. I'm not ready for this. We're not good. I don't think we're gonna win. I don't think. I think I need to train my team up higher. <laughs> Are we ready for this? Ho ho ho! So you have even come this far? I have no idea that a mere child like you would pursue me this long. Professor Crane's data ROMs and the lair. You alone derailed every one of our well-laid plans. Well, perhaps not just you. The news broadcast by ONBS did not help Cypher's cause at all. However, my Shadow Pokemon plan isn't finished yet. The final act is about to unfold. Having come this far, I think you've earned the right to know what I have planned. The creation of Shadow Pokemon that permanently resist purification. That was the first step. Next, I plan to create an army of Shadow Pokemon that work independently on my orders alone. When the second step is done, I will take over the world without having to rely on bothersome people. And now... I'm ready. Let me introduce you to my faithful servant, the one that shall become the central figure in my Shadow Pokemon army. Come forth, XD001. Shadow Lugia. Codename XD001, now freed of all adjustments, I present to you, Shadow Lugia. So cool. I wish the other Shadow Pokemon had, like, different coloring like this. Oh, man. This Lugia is the first of the Shadow Pokemon that cannot be purified. 
Now, let us celebrate the completion of my Shadow Pokemon plan in advance. Fall prey to Shadow Lugia. Now, this fight is going to be extremely, extremely anticlimactic. <laughs> We're just going to master ball this guy. <laughs> The aura reader reading is responding. Look at him, he even has a sick emblem. I need to prefer, pre like, preserve the uh, health of my team so we can fight Master Griefel. So, I mean, this is the main reason for the Master Ball, the, the boss Pokemon. <laughs> and Ice Beam him. Let's go! And Shadow Lugia to the squad right now. <laughs> Oof. We should. He's, he's Shadow Typing, resists all Shadow moves incoming. And he's level 50, that would help. Lugia! That's right. We just ruined your plan like that. Now it's time to fight Grievel. Oh god. How dare you, child! How dare you snag my Shadow Lugia! My one loyal subject! There's nothing left, but I will personally see to your total destruction of your Pokémon. Fall! Oh. oh god. Look at them eyes! <laughs> Why are there so many evil old men in this region? They don't ride on? And Moltres! I am in danger! Okay. So, Shadow Pokemon. Yeah, his entire team is Shadow. How do I deal with Moltres? <laughs> I can't Earthquake. Oh, Iron Tail. Probably resisted by Fire Typing. I, I can't, I, like, I can't beat this team, you know. Double, double edge, and like, how's Ice Beam hit Moltres? Neutral? Is it super effective on Groudon though? I just want to focus Moltres. Like, how am I gonna catch six Shadow Pokemon in this fight? Here comes Shadow Fire! Exclusive move to Moltres. You're dead. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Probably should have protected. I just didn't know if they would attack Altaria or not. It's double edge. We might knock ourselves out with recoil. That's a good amount. Another, uh. Ooh. Shadow end. This misses, thankfully. We get leftovers. Armin needs to protect. Another dragon breath on Moltres. Should do the trick. Possibly catching Moltres here. This is resisted. Oh, it's a shadow move. It was a fire move, it was resisted. Get in range. That's one. If we can catch it like first try. If not, we're in danger. Huge danger. What move do we want to hit Rhydon with? Iron Tail? Does he outspeed Agron? I don't remember. I know Sasha does for sure. We could Ice Beam him. I have to. I'm gonna, I know. I'm gonna go with the sure thing. Ultra Ball Moltres. Ice Beam Rhydon. Please only take one hit this turn. We need this capture. Ice 
We're dead. We're getting destroyed this turn. Someone's dying. It's Armin. And it's crit. We would not have lived this at full health. Okay. It did shake three times. Uh, I think we go into Sarda. And we water pulse right on. <laughs> Get him gone. Super effective. Ah, oh, he's in good range. Of shadow end. Wow, it was nice. Nice having you on the field, Sarda. They're both in red. You have to heal Sarda, though. An item. Ultra Ball. Who's the bigger threat? Moltres is, but I don't know if we can catch Moltres. <laughs> um. If Rhydon connects another Shadow End, he's gonna knock himself out. Come on. Get in my ball. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three, please. No! You're so close! That's going at Sasha. Okay. Screw logic. See, catching them is killing us right now. We could easily have them knocked out. Zard is dead. Just knock them all out and catch them later in post game. We're not gonna win this fight now. We <laughs> we're down two against six. I'll at least try and catch him the first time around, I guess. Not putting out smart putting out Connie. Try and catch Moltres, he's the... He's way cooler. And his shadow fire is ridiculous. Okay, we got one. Five to go. <laughs> Comes the Executor. We have an ice type move here. I think I'm going to utilize. Get the reflect up. Which could possibly be huge. Comes a shadow end. Please miss. Hallelujah. Um, Connie, Ultra Ball. It's turning around. Now, do we Ice Beam or Max Revive one of our Pokemon? Like Agron. Oh, Sarda, I just don't know which one. <laughs> or, oh, I mean, we, we can either Ice Beam Executor, get a huge chunk of damage in. I mean, we could... We could Shadow Ball Executor. I don't know if he's physical or special defense. You can always use the guidebook, but... I want to wing it. I'm going to max revive. There's any time to max revive. It's the, the boss fight, you know? Now, who do we want? Who do we want? I think Armin will cause more problem for the enemy team. Get this ride on off the field, please. We are now at a 5 on 5 battle. A 5 on 4 battle. Let's go. It's turned around. Here comes Tauros. Did not know he had this. 
which means his last two Pokemon are he's got Moltres, he's got the other two. Okay. Come Shadow Hold. We weren't switching. Waste of a turn. Okay, okay. Psychic Tauros. Ice Beam Executor. He sets up the weather. Waste of a turn. It's getting very intense. I like it. Perfective. Dude. We need Sarda on the field. Icy Wendy's. Eesh. Executor's in range. We lost Sasha, but it was worth it. And look at Tauros' health. Is there a way to check the opposing Pokemon? <laughs> Oh, do we fake out Tauros? The yellow. We have to send out one of our bulky ones. Rias or Armin. Throwing a Ultra Ball at an Executor here. We're probably faking out. How much longer is our Reflect up? Toros. Connie is going to Ultra. That ball doesn't help me. On Executor. This is frying my brain. Fake out Toros. Hopefully you don't knock him out. If not, Toros is the least cool one so far. <laughs> That's three. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it is down to a five on three battle now. Or a four on three. Shadow Articuno. There's a fake out. Perfect range. Oh, man. I was flinched. That was a free turn for us. Your hands are getting to get sweaty. Ah oh, man, we're hit by the weather. Leftovers comes. Who do we want to hit Articuno with? Psychic? I don't think Shadow Ball will do much. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this turned around completely. I thought we were getting swept. I did not think we were getting past Moltres and Rhydon. No! I, I needed you to get in the ball big time. We can't take it. Shadow end, but he does shadow hold. Pretty sure I was already locked in. At least unless these are two new Pokemon. Some shadow chill. An exclusive move to Articuno. Super effective. Frozen solid. How'd we just get defrosted turn like that? Holy cow. The luck's on our side. <laughs> Reflect wears off though. We need Ani. We don't we don't need to waste items on her though. If she gets knocked out, we can swap in Conoco and Max Revive her. Him. Kani, Psyche, and Argakuno again. Another Ultra Ball. Come on. Come on. Two shakes. Three. That's four. But it brings in his last Pokemon. Zapdos. 
What do you know? Shadow Pokemon. Crazy. Psychic comes off. Such a weird range. Shadow Chill's gonna pick up the KO on Connie. He hits Rias for more than half damage. I think we reflect here. Connie's about to go down. We rock tomb zap those. He outspeeds everybody. Somebody's dying. We're losing two here. This ain't good. It all comes down to if Connie outspeeds Articuno. We get the reflect up. That is huge. Shadow Chill's going to knock out Connie. And it was a crit. Like a guaranteed up one hit KO. <laughs> Brings in Armin. We're in danger. Okay, do we have a way to whittle down Articuno? No. Protect. Max revive. <laughs> On Connie, I think. Asha? No, I think we gotta go with our best player. It all comes down to it, she can just thunderbolt everybody. Shadow Bolt blocked. Shadow Chill blocked. They don't like Armin. <laughs> okay. Armin is about to be blown away. I'm gonna Iron Tail Zapdos. We can't click Dig. We Flamethrower Zapdos. We outspeed. That's literally like a four hit. That ain't good. Something's dying. We're in danger. Oh god. We're gonna end up losing this. We do have a max revive. Traced pressure, which kinda helps. We psychic Zapdos. Do we just Hail Mary and Ultra Ball at Articuno? Or a timer ball? I don't think we can flamethrower Articuno. I don't think we have a way to hit Articuno is the problem. Net ball is good. Not, not doesn't help us right now, unfortunately. Timer ball, luxury ball, great ball. This may be a waste of a turn. Or we could heat wave Articuno's ice though. I don't think this is gonna work. I can't watch. Can't watch this. He's in the ball. Hear it shaking. Once. Twice. Three? No way. No freaking way! No way! Chronico takes a huge hit. Here comes the psychic. Don't knock out. It's gonna do a big amount. That's catching range. That is catching range. We have our reflect up. Ultra ball. 
It just worked. This is less than what Articuno had. Item. Potion. <laughs> we can't let Kana go down. Go down. We're just gonna potion stall whoever he hits until he crits, and then we're we're screwed. Two. No. We do have the pressure up. You will eventually run out of shadow bolts. Please live. Okay, we need to heal Connie. The reflect has worn off. Do we put up a reflect? Can we live without reflect? Oh god. We're just gonna... We're gonna find out if we can live without reflect. We need to keep ultra balling potioning. Here we go. Come on. No way we beat this first try. If not, if we somehow lose this, we're in huge item problems. That's one shake. There's a shadow bolt. How much PP does this move have? You're under pressure. I'm gonna try a timer ball. It's been a long battle, probably the longest we've had. Makes sense. I just don't think it'll be better than the Ultra Ball. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Comes the Shadow Bolt. Don't crit. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna go back to Ultra. Item. Potion. We're running out of potions. And I guess we could Super Potion at that range. Be 14 short, but... Might as well keep Hyper Potioning while we have it. I don't want to barely die. Dang, Ultra Ball isn't the move. It only shakes twice. How do you have the PP for this? You've clicked it at least, at least minimum five, seven times. Hyper Potion. I think we try another timer. It was so close to catching. Alternatively, we can max revive Sarda, hit him with a quick attack. Dude. I think that's our strat instead of potioning. Max revive. Or we potion and max revive. Since we're not going to be able to catch him. Hyper Potion. Doing the spout the same amount of damage every time. Item. I'm going to use a regular revive. We don't need the health on Sarada. Comes the Shadow Bolt. Uh, thank God she isn't critting. Item. Where's that hyper potion? We swap out Connie or Kanako. Who do we think's taking this hit? We don't want. This is a 50 50 here. On who takes the hit. Last it went to Kanako, but she has been attacking Connie off and on. We can't switch Vaporeon into this hit. I mean, we already revived this turn, so we have to 
Wapkanico's position. Please attack Connie. Or maybe somehow Sarda lives this hit. I highly doubt it. Yes! Did a lot. It was a high roll. Item. Hyper Potion. On Connie. Watch Sarda critical hits Zapdos, knocking it out. There's Quick Attack. Red. I think we do it again. Some Shadow Bolt. We reflect. We quick attack. It's ball time. It is ball time, ladies and gentlemen. Why would you attack Connie here? We double potion? Get the reflect up. How do you still have shadow bolts? Is the question. We have to heal Connie. I don't care about Sarda, we got an extra Pokemon. Ultra Ball! He can't get any lower. It didn't even shake! Stop attacking Connie. Knock out Sarda. I don't. I propose. I think he just realizes Sarda doesn't have any usefulness anymore. <laughs> Come on. Dude, what in the heck? Can't you just let us win the game? We're, we're literally this close away from winning! <laughs> uh, Sarda gets knocked out. We get Kanako though. Still do have a max revive. And along with 17 other revives. I should probably revive one Pokemon. Just in case we get crit. Ultra Ball. This is a good time to revive somebody. Who do we think can live more than one hit? No, Sarda can, actually. I'm gonna go back. I'm going to look who has our highest pink special defense. 104. 14. You have more health though. Sarda has more health. To go with that special defense. I think I heal Sarda. Sarda. Alright. It's a free ball turn. Please get in the ball. Let's end this off. It only shakes once. Battle's getting pretty long, and we we still have the pressure up. And he crit. That's why we revived. Now for Sardis turn, we revive somebody else. Probably our Ataria. No, don't fight. Last thing we want to do is click the fight button. I will go through all 25 of these darn things. And watch. The opponent doesn't isn't affected by, like, PP. <laughs> For some reason. We're trying to stall out... Um, the Shadow Bolt. Watch. For some reason, it's got, like, 50 PP. It's one shaking. Do we have any statuses? No. 
We can't ice beam it and paralyze. Doesn't matter. We're not attacking. Ultra Ball. Item. Potion. Okie doke. Let's do this. We're starting to run out of items. Mainly potions. He's out. He's out. He's setting up the rain. Let's go. Watch. Now he's going to have a move that hurts himself or something stupid. Or worse, he's going to have tornado. I should probably look. <laughs> I should probably look this up. Adapto. He knows Shadow Bolt, which he should be done with. Shadow Rush, Shadow Sky, and Shadow Shed. Okay. Oh, gosh. There's a chance to miss, but I don't think it damages. Item up. The potion. We need as much health as we can get. Luxury ball, who knows? At this point, we've got to try out something else. We can't just keep trying the Ultra Ball. This is the only one we have of these, though. Ah! It did not look like it was securely stacked, and he's back to Shadow Bolting. We're living! Good thing we healed. Actually, are we living? Okay. Maybe a strategy's gonna work out. I think retirement ball. Been such a long battle now. Hyper potion up starter. Dude, just please, please get in the mall. Once, twice, three times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we beat Pokemon XD. Gale of Darkness. What an ending. Multiple times we thought we were going to lose that. Blah! I like at 5,000 for that. That's ridiculous that's you know how much money we spent that battle bit good 40,000 ow a mere child a mere child crushed my cherished plan what this can't be It's your fault. I won't forgive you. There is no forgiving you. Grandmaster, we're done here. We should blow up City Dark Isle with the child still on it. But if I did that, our Shadow Pokemon data and our subordinates would be lost as well. Grandmaster, such things can be replaced. We must ensure our own survival. I've readied a helicopter for our escape. We've got to leave now. You're you're right. Elders. Who's Elders? The red guy? Wait. Please wait. You're willing to sacrifice everyone so you can escape? You should be ashamed. Ashamed? Claiming to cling to foolish pride will guarantee Cypher's demise. Cypher must survive. That is our first duty. The Grandmaster feels the same way. Yes! 
for Cypher's sake. Sacrifices must be endured. What are you saying? The Shadow Pokemon Factory has been destroyed. XD001 was defeated. Nothing remains of Cypher. Silence! Cypher will live forever! If only this child hadn't. Lived? Grandmaster, please give this click of the orders to blow up Citadel Dark Isle. Yes, it can't be helped. Don't begrudge us, child. Stop! Let's put a little, let's put a stop to this, Father. Don't call him Father. Call him the Grandmaster. Father, you've lost your your sight of what is important. You got carried away by this whole Grandmaster nonsense. It isn't possible to take over the world by producing powerful Pokemon. Just think of this child. This child's pure heart went over XD001. We were in the wrong. Silence, silence, silence! Why aren't you showing some spine? We've come so far. Cypher is finished, father. You yourself should know that, that more than anyone. Oh! Man's gonna blow up the place by himself. Now please, stand up. This is how it should be. The laws of the land will render judgment on what we have done. Oh, everything I did, all of it, was a mistake. Thanks to your courage, we were finally able to wake from our nightmare. Thank you. You have nothing to fear from us ever. You should return home to your family. Let us meet again, too, the next time we battle. It won't be as mortal enemies. I look forward to it. Where, where'd the blue guy go? We did it! I think this is the end cutscene. The weather clears and Pokemon World is saved. Oh wow, it's only that far away. Ah, oh, we did it. Old Joey. done save the world yep save the game that is gonna wrap up our playthrough of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness I believe this is the end yep here's the credits now it's actually like one or two shadow Pokemon we missed. We missed Sangoose, I know for sure. And then there's one more that isn't in the story. It's in post game. It's Dragonite. It's the one that gets stolen from the shadow base. Um, right at the end when we're about to destroy it, someone steals a Pokemon. And it's the Dragonite. But. That's the end of it. This is my favorite Pokemon game from my childhood. I was completely into this. I was like locked into this. I'm so far ahead on recording from just playing the crap out of this game. My next Pokemon game is going to be Pokemon Platinum. I've never played it. Very looking forward to it. I hope to see you guys there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys later. See ya.